Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Warno. Today we have a 3v3 with Koch and Shaktil with myself, fighting against a 5-foot Asian who is playing as the Berliner group, Mettler who is playing 27YA, and Captain Boss, he might be the cake boss, of 35YA. Uh, Koch is 35 Infantry, I am 5th Panzer, and Shaktil is... 8th Infantry. If I call Shock Till Elric, that is because that's what we call him on Discord. Um, so basically what is happening is I'm taking the left flank Foxtrot, Koch is going into the middle, Charlie in Alpha, and then Shock Till is taking Hotel in Golf. Now this is, I think, the second time we've played on this map. It's a very interesting map. Um, there's things I like, things I don't like per se, but um, this area on the left is very interesting and very difficult for both sides to attack. This little town here is a bloodbath. It's an absolute bloodbath. It looks like we have a MiG-21 out. I believe we have something. What is this? Very interesting. And it's going to die. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's a little old school recon plane. But we do have two F-16s coming out from Koch. Should take out that MiG or, well, that MiG is... Oh, there we go. Okay. Nope. It escaped. I didn't see a kill, kill command, so I think it despawned, got out of there. Just in time. But this is, as I said... This zone here is a bloodbath. I think in the future it's probably best to just like defend this area and then maybe push through the trees over here. That might be the better way. So it looks like I am fighting five foot Asian. Looks like Koch, uh, Captain Boss. I mean, he is nowhere to be found. Holy cow. Koch could have probably gotten up into their objective over there, Bravo. And then uh, Shock Till on the flank doing a good job moving up to take his objectives, Golf and Hotel. So I think I saw these guys over here. Hopefully it's a good kill. Not quite. And somehow my tornado made it out alive. Um... I did have my F4 screening probably a little bit too uh, <laughs> too aggressive over there. That Milan, definitely too aggressive, but if it can get some shots off, it should get some nice kills, especially... Oh, it went down. Okay, well, never mind. And my F4 also went down, so probably a little too aggressive over here. And then this push, probably too aggressive. We need to unload now. But we're, we're moving too far forward, and we're just going to lose uh, lose these martyrs, most likely. If we unloaded the troops back over here, that would have been the best way to support this infantry push, but instead, the martyrs getting too far forward. But that is a Grenzer with a flamethrower, so we're going to lose this engagement very bad. Not good at all. So, really, as I said, this town sucks. Uh, not really sure how to say it any nicer. So I think it would just be better if I created a defensive line along here, held out, and then probably sent troops over to help Koch. Not that he needs the help, but if I can, if I can hold the line over there and move troops probably into the middle here. Cut off here. I mean, Captain Boss, what is... What is Captain Boss doing? He's not really doing anything at the moment. He... Playing very, very passively. I think Captain Boss was a brand new player, though. So that might be part of it. So this might be a very lopsided battle. You can see I'm... Actually doing pretty well for myself. And that was a very good airstrike. Uh, so... Again, yeah, I need to capitalize on this. Absolutely, however, here we go. Uh, fights back, kills all my guys. But we do take it out. 
Uh, that is Shock Tails F-16C, so that's pretty cool. However, it's evacuating over the anti-aircraft assets, so that's not good to see. Koch also bringing in stuff to help. But uh, that town is open, and that was the time to push into the town with infantry. Now, I think I saw troops over here and tried to destroy some of them. Uh, I do have this Luke's and this Fernspa over here, uh, but as I said, really needed more forces to push forward. This Milan is in a good firing position. This Leopard is in an okay firing position. Gephard, this uh, Martyr needs to recuperate. Jag moving up. We've got some A assets over here, but this is very weak on my part. Five foot Asian moving into the middle to engage Koch, who is caught out in the open against SPW 70s. I don't think there's any AT over here, but he is repositioning his M60s, and I think he has shots on these SPW 70s, but not before losing that Stinger unit. But pushing forward, I don't think Koch has seen Captain Boss yet, so <laughs> he's probably wondering what the heck is going on. Uh, Shocktail has a rather large push from Mettler coming on in, but if you look at it, Mettler really doesn't have anything to back it up. So if he can take out this push, which he has a lot of assets to do so, it should be easy for him to counterattack this Cobra, also in a good position. Uh, Engineer's not unloading, not really sure if he uh, forgot to unload them or misclicked. But we go back to over here, and unfortunately, Five Foot Asian is taking this town. This town is the bane of my existence on this map, and I don't really know how to properly attack this site. As I said, I think it's best to probably fortify a position along here, and then just either help out in the middle, because this is very hard to attack either direction. And you put ATGMs along here. It's devastating, you put tanks along here, it's devastating, you put troops in these buildings, ATGMs in these buildings. Uh, a secondary line of ATGMs back here, more tanks, uh, looks like Five Foot Asian has spotted my Lukes, and my Lukes is probably going to die. Uh, I don't think I, yep, was not able to save it. I don't remember, does a Lukes have? Do I have a Lukes anywhere left? I'm trying to remember if the Lukes has smoke or not. I can't remember for the life of me, and there's no Lukes on the battlefield for me to look at its card. So, over here, not really good use of my Leopard 2A4. Needs to be probably a little bit further back. Uh, these guys spot my Fernspar. Not really sure how. Maybe it's uh, these Moto Shoots, and I have them on. I have them on an order to only return fire, but he definitely spotted them. Uh, so it looks like I'm bringing up A assets over here in the form of a Flieger Faust. Not really uh, that much A assets. Koch bringing up some artillery to either help me, um, and at this point I think Koch is preparing to just steamroll the middle. And if he's able to do that, that's pretty much game over because we'll be able to cut off Five Foot Asian. Look at all these Strellas over here. Captain Boss, if you are new and watching, just uh, think about spreading out your AA assets just a little bit behind your line, getting your troops out of their vehicles is big because every time your vehicle is destroyed with the troops inside it, the troops die too. Get your troops in the building over here in the tree lines set up a defense for your allies and uh, really try to help them out captain boss just spamming a lot of assets that are really expensive but don't really help uh, over here this is a big group coming to shock till so hopefully he can take care of that i'm once again attempting the world's worst attacks over here um as I said, really need the Martyrs to move up to about here, unload, then have the troops go forward, because the Martyrs are just getting picked off by the ATGMs of these units, but I believe the range of them, you know, it's only 500 meters, maybe if there's Metis over there, 
I don't think they're... Well, we did see some sort of ATGM on one of their units earlier, but... Yeah, they're moving up into RPG range, and yeah, you can see absolutely annihilating my martyrs. If my martyrs were back here, we'd be able to support a lot better. Kind of like how these leopards are a little bit further back and they're able to support. Uh, probably a good run by the tornado. Looks like it killed a lot of troops, but then lost a lot. Um, cluster bomb incoming and able to take out my leopard to A3. Have I learned how to reverse yet? Doesn't look like this is the battle where I've learned how to reverse my troops yet, so rather unfortunate. They are attacking over here, helping Shaktil out. Koch. Um, <laughs> Koch is probably wondering what the heck is going on in the middle because there's nothing. So I think Koch is probably moving up over here to help me take out this objective because he realizes there's nothing in the middle. Shaktil has a good defensive position. Um, he's, he's really set to take on a lot. However, this Abrams in a little bit of trouble. Uh, probably not that much trouble if it can get out of range of the BMP-2 ATGM, which I think he will. Don't think the range is that far. I could be wrong. Okay, yep. Got out of range or line of sight. So yeah, here we go. Koch really thinking that he's going to push this way. Help me out. Unfortunately, I'm probably too slow to uh, figure out that I need to help him out. Moving more recon over here in this Fliegerfaust. I want it up over here. Um, unfortunately, though, there are some nasty surprises coming my way in the form of Flamethrower T-55s. So this Fernspar is going to die, and I should see that and doesn't look like I've seen it quite yet. So that uh, I, I've seen it now and I'm noping the heck out of there. And I'm trying to move Leopard 2A3 and Milan up. I haven't seen ATGMs come out of these forests. So that's the idea there. Um, trying to take out that meta squad because I know they are there, but it looks like Oh, that's an expensive loss for nothing. Uh, so really unfortunate on my part, but uh, Koch probably... Oh gosh, no, Captain Boss, no! It's not what you want to do with your Strellas. <laughs> They're going to get absolutely obliterated. Um, I kind of feel bad. I, I think he was a level 1, and we thought, oh, it's somebody who reset their... Uh, reset their level, n that knows how to do that. Uh, it turns out he really was a level one, which not not good. Um, five foot Asian though, that's a lot of T55s taking out some engineers, and not really going to go well for the engineers whatsoever. Um, if oh, he does have laws, that so this is good in the forest, pretty good. Uh, F4AA taken out. Not sure what I'm doing with it. Uh, F4AT coming in. I don't really see a target flying this way. Don't know why I didn't attack these guys out in the open with the AT. Not sure. Um, I do have a scout. Oh, gosh, so so many bad losses. It's fun uh, learning this game with the replay tool and just watching maybe like how bad you are <laughs> as a player. Over here, Mettler doing a good job moving troops up over here. If he can unload them into that building, that's kind of a way to cut. Koch off from reinforcing the middle. Not that he really needs the reinforce on the middle. I mean, he is just absolutely wiping the floor over here. And I think a bunch of T-55s went down. I believe these rifles, yep, rifles have unleashed the law upon the T-55s and absolutely just destroying them. I have decided that screw this town. We're going to start pushing up through the trees. However, this is not a good push um, because there's no infantry. We need infantry to support in the trees. This Fernspa uh, could probably move up into... Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. We do have a Fliegerfaust in the forest. It might be able to do something. I do have pretty good line of sight with this Alouette. I um, wonder what can I actually see as Quicksilver? Nothing! Oh, I could see that airplane by 5 foot Asian coming through, but uh, what is it? And where's it going? Oh, it's going against Koch. Uh, this is absolutely devastating for FIFA Asian because 
Koch is in his back line and is able to take him out. I don't think I've realized what was going on in the battlefield at all. I don't think I realized Koch was rolling up the flank. Um, yeah, basically at this point, Koch has neutralized 5 foot Asian and I need to push. I need to get these leopards up. I need to move my air assets further up. Um, this would be the time to absolutely bombard that building. Not sure. Oh, I did see the 55. It's a little risky though. There's a Koob right there. Oh, it has no ammo though. So that's good. Did stun the T-55, but nothing else. I think that MiG-29 fired a... Yeah, it, that's the super long range one, 8,475 meters. That's pretty ridiculous. Do I have a Lukes yet? That is the question, because I wanted to see if the Lukes had smoke. I'm pretty sure it does, but then again, I could be incredibly wrong. Uh, Captain Boss flying his aircraft through the middle and... Yeah, lots of conkers up here trying to take out infantry and buildings. More conkers spamming up. Um, I can't say too much because uh, there was a point not too long ago that I was very much like that. And to be honest, I'm not too far beyond that. Anyways, uh, T-55 taking on my leopards. That should be a one-sided attack. I smoked. Uh, I think we could have absolutely decimated that. Milan... Uh, Martyr Milan moving up, Munitions Truck moving up, getting... Uh, no, they don't need to go there anymore, they need to go into the forest. I think I'm moving the Fliegerfaust up as like a very crappy stopgap. Really need to unload these guys here. The idea was I knew those Ofklar were there, I just want to flush them out. And I want to flush everything out from these woods over here. What is this? Black ZSU... Interesting, you probably thought maybe we were going to go around the side. But, yeah, as you can see, I'm... Koch is doing all the heavy lifting here. I'm not really doing anything. Shocktail doing a great job of wrapping up Mettler. Mettler probably having to put too many forces into the middle to help Captain Boss. Uh, this is really like a 2v1. Um, rather unfortunate. We should have realized that Captain Boss was actually a level 1 and uh, kindly removed him from the game. Not that newbies aren't welcome, but maybe he was a little bit too new. And he just needs a friend like Koch and Shaq Till to show him the game, because as I said, I was once there. But I think for super newbies, just trying out Alpha Asian Surrenders. Yep, that makes sense. He's, uh, he's in a lot of trouble. But I think for newbies, uh, just doing a bunch of skirmishes versus AI is a good way to learn the basic mechanics of the game and slowly and surely get better and better that way. And then dive on in into some larger multiplayer battles where your performance doesn't necessarily make or break the battle itself. In a 3v3, you're a little bit too important. So I'd recommend like a 5v5, 10v10, go into those and then try to find some friends that are uh, willing to teach you a few things or um, See if you can find a bunch of other newbies that are willing to be a newbie with you. Uh, lots of artillery fire raining down upon those guys. Where is that coming from? Is it these M110s? I'm not entirely sure. But that was a lot, and then Koch making it into this objective. I think this is when I finally realized, like, oh, Koch is helping me out. <laughs> no wonder this has been pretty easy on this side for so long, and I mean, helping out is an understatement, Koch has full-blown taken this sector, so we need to be moving up and not putzing around over here. Uh, what are these National Guard kilos coming in? <laughs> what are all these? Uh, that's interesting, they're not, they're not being sold, so um, that's a lot of points that will be absolutely destroyed, and this is pretty nasty. However, there are AA assets over there. If we can get a cluster bomb into this area, uh, Captain Boss just has more assets than anybody should ever know, and the AI is now spamming out forces from 5 Asian. 
this flame uh, flame ponzer pretty pretty deadly but it's nearly dead and if we can take it out that would be fantastic not sure what died over there that's Roland I think that is one of Koch's because he's playing the 35th so I think all the National Guard stuff is his whereas what was Choctaw playing he was playing the 8th infantry I don't think they have many National Guard units if I recall I think they are all sort of regulars whereas um, yeah, Koch has almost exclusively National Guard troops. That seems a little excessive. Well, actually not really, because it doesn't do a lot to tanks. I mean, that's an M60, it's not even an Abrams. And... Oh, okay, yeah, air-to-ground rockets, Captain Boss, those would be so much better against infantry. Koch doing work while I'm just sitting here uh, not doing anything. So to be fair to their team, where one of their players might not have been doing anything for most of the fight, uh, our team had the same thing, whereas I am clearly the weak link. But it doesn't matter because we have victory. So I figured I would just show off all the battles for you guys that I thought were... Fairly interesting. Railroad Railway is a very interesting battle there. Uh, yeah, I didn't do too bad for myself. 1.39 kill ratio, but I didn't kill much. I lost a decent chunk. Shocktail killed a ton with almost no losses. 6.43 to 1 kill ratio, but he also killed the least, to be fair. Whereas Koch killed more than Shocktail and myself combined. Basically, you could uh, you could take my score and multiply it by three, and it's uh, a little bit above Koch's score. That's how much he carried us in that battle. Over here, unfortunately, Captain Boss not doing much. Mettler, I thought he was doing a lot better than he was, but Shocktail absolutely cutting him to pieces in Five Foot Asian. Unfortunately, uh, he got flanked by Koch, so... That, uh, that was his downfall. Leopard 2A3 with some okay kills. It's all infantry and SBW. Tornado MW1. That got some really good kills. I There were some really good attacks with that thing. I, I really like that vehicle. Leopard 2A3 with... Uh, I mean, it took out some T55s. So not too shabby. Roland taking out MiG. Martyr Milan taking out... Oh, it got the transports of... Five foot Asian. Oh, I also took out some of Captain Boss's aircraft, so not too shabby. And then Leopard 2A3 with some good kills there, but very, very passive on my end. Oh, that was it. Yep. Oh, that was. If I were able to capitalize on that, that was such a nasty attack. That tornado IDS killing five infantry in one bombing run was devastating that was that was probably my shining moment in that game the rest of the game i feel like i didn't do too much i really need to give myself an avatar especially seeing as i have one made for my channel so i'll do that in game i'll probably uh change my avatar over but the question mark it it adds to the noobness of of quicksilver's trials and tribulations through war that is it for today's episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Um, would really appreciate a couple comments and like buttons. It's uh, It's been, uh, been a little rough, but that's my own doing. You know, taking a break for six months does that to your channel, especially when it's a small channel to start with. But as always, guys, until next time.